Okay, so in today's video, I have got week 13 of my 365 days of art challenge. So if you want to see that, then keep on watching. Okay, so the first one that I did this week um, was basically one that was basically you could kind of do whatever you wanted. I just completely had like a moment there where I just forgot how to speak. Um, anyway, it was basically about like patterns that inspire you or like, you know, patterns that you like that, you know, are whatever. <laughs> So you could either draw them, cut them out, do whatever. So I do a lot of scrapbooking as well. Um, so I took a few pages out of like scrapbooking paper, like packs that I had, um, and I kind of just stuck them together in sort of like a little artsy way, um, you know, overlap them, like the sort of thing that I would do in my scrapbook basically. Um, the second one that you would have just seen was another calligraphy practice one. Um, I'm still not like, I'm not a massive lover of them, but they don't take ages to do. So, I mean, they're okay. Like, they're good if like, you know, similar to the colour ones, you can like either, like the colour ones you can come back to. Or those ones, I can literally do them in like five minutes, like five, ten minutes, depending on what it is. Um, so yeah, I do like those ones. Um, this third one that I did was basically um, a little bit of like typography um, about like cutting and making like a word or a phrase out of different paper. So I used the same paper from before and I just did the word love, which I thought was quite cute. I didn't really know like what other thing to kind of put in there that wouldn't take way too much like space because obviously you still got to cut those words out I mean I suppose I could have done them out of like a magazine or something but I kind of just wanted to like cut the words myself rather than you know doing them like out of a newspaper or magazine or something like that so that is what I did for that one um and to be fair the O you probably noticed the O was actually like a border one that I had um so I didn't actually have to cut that at all that was like a little border um because that is part of a pack from Hobbycraft I think it was I mean it was like a wedding pack so I think it had like different borders and different like surrounds for photos or like backgrounds for photos and there was like a round one and then there was, for the V, I chose one that was like a diamond shape and then cut it in half. So, I mean, I guess I still was a little bit creative with it. Um, but yeah, that is what I did for that one. And the next one that I did, um, basically the prompt was to draw loads and loads and loads of smiley faces. So that is exactly what I did, just different like facial expressions, like happy faces. Um, so I did similar for this one as what I did with the, like, I think it was the very first one I ever did, which was the eyeball one, drawing loads and loads of different eyes. So I did it as like a little bit of like a collage, like they sort of all overlap each other. And then obviously, as you can see, the background is like colored black. Um, so for this one, I kind of learned my lesson from the eyeball one and I did quite a few bigger ones rather than loads and loads of tiny ones because when I did, I mean, don't get me wrong, this one still took me quite a while to do, um, but nowhere near as long as the eyeball one took me. But that one, literally, I'm almost certain took me like four hours to finish because it was so, there were so many like little details in it and I did quite a lot of them quite small. So I learned my lesson from that one and I did quite a few of these quite large, as you can see. Um, and this one generally is just a, a little bit easier because it's just, in theory, just two dots, a mouth and like a circle around. So in theory, this one is a lot simpler, a lot quicker. Um, so yeah, again, this one is quite like a relaxing one to do. You don't really have to think about it too much. Um, and I suppose, you know, you can kind of come back to it if you wanted to. I don't really tend to like doing that, but if you was doing this and say you had kids or, you know, you do this for a little bit in the evening, like say you do it half, like half an hour each night, then it's a perfect one to, to kind of do because you can do some of it, leave it and come back again. Um, so yeah, I did really like this one. 
Um, and you will also notice that this is, I believe, the first 365 days of art challenge that I'm doing in my new room. So I, th I feel like this like setup, like my camera setup, my ring light and everything is a little bit better than what it was before. I feel like it's angled over slightly better. Um, there's not loads of like stuff in the way. So I feel like this overall is a lot better. And obviously you would have seen um, my actual like intro and outro background has changed um but you would have seen that if you've seen my last two videos i want to say maybe may maybe it was just one but i want to say that it's the last two videos i've had a different background um so yeah let me know what you kind of think about it um i really like it it's really convenient for filming actually um and yeah i, I still got to kind of figure out like the lighting and that sort of thing a little bit um for the like these sort of videos like my art videos and stuff like that that's absolutely fine like this background is okay like it works well like it's it's fine and i feel like the lighting is quite good um but with the background for my intros and outros it's a lot like there's a lot more depth to it than there was before because before i was basically sat right up against the wall whereas now Obviously you can see I'm quite a lot further forward from the wall, which means that I have got some sort of shadows and you can see like my ceiling light in the frames of the pictures on the walls. And yeah, so I've just got a few things to sort of like logistical things to kind of figure out. Um, but I think it will be better overall and I do actually really like the background now. Um, so that's really good. Um, the next one that I did was a prompt that basically just said draw a cloud and I mean these aren't the best clouds I've ever drawn in my life but I did these as like a little quick one to kind of see how quick I could actually do them and make them look semi decent I mean they're not they're not works of art by by any means whatsoever um, but they will do the next one I did was asking someone what they think of your art. So I asked my boyfriend, he said it's like very detailed, my realism work is really cool, which eventually in the next couple, uh, I'm not going to say couple weeks because I probably won't end up doing it, um, but before the end of the year you will hopefully get some videos of me doing some of my realism drawings so i've got three filmed already um ready to go so if you want to make sure that you don't miss them then subscribe um the next one i basically just had to draw some stars in the night sky and then i just checked off each one that i've done as always so that was week 13 of my 365 days of art challenge let me know down below what your favorite was and if you have any ideas for future prompts um but other than that make sure that you subscribe so that you don't miss next week's video and yeah i will see you next week bye